Shoot <laughs> So, we're going to get started, but I want you all to help me. I'm just a city boy, don't know nothing about living in the woods, so you are going to break in the groups and come up with a way and sing it to instruct me how to build a fire. That yaksa, we would not go at Gosselach to our Oshko. So, you're gonna make a little teeny handbook, real quick. Maybe we'll do other ones later about how to, how to live. But some of the things I'm thinking about, if you're gonna tell someone to go build a fire in the winter time, what kind of tools I need, what am I gonna look for? What do I not get? So that wood, the knock at that punky wood. Gotta be careful of that punky wood. All your insider see awesome tips on how to build a fire in the woods in the winter time. So this is your Shingit survival guide. Maybe we'll do another one on how to build a brush house, how to, how to put up a tent, how to hunt the deer, how to hunt the caribou but for now go instruct this city boy how to build a fire so i will let's see khuni nakhsa uhan chen khat kha kushak nakhawe uhan ya thai nakh a kwas ya ke kwati ya akh a yitin athu nakh ye jek wanne chatak chatak khuk sa ithi nakh ye thi how many groups we want Dech. <laughs> Two big groups. Good when it's actually you to a tea. Hey, Jin, yeah. Make sure there's not a bunch of us city folk in the same group. Hey, Jin, cut when it's it's I'll just hit random. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll just we'll just do our best. It'll be fun. Just have fun with it. Uh, I won't freeze if you. Get the language wrong. I might freeze on Zoom, and then what? I'll be dirty. What's ha what happened last time? Never forget. <laughs> okay, let me find my room button. Make the room. Okay, and we got one in the room, so we might. I'll have her join through my computer, so we'll see how it goes. 
Hei, awak saya ke kuati. Kuas ikut letih. Iit, no. Kuas ikut kostih. Eh, ye yak, ye e yak kosaka. Eh, sejak. Okay. Rooms are open. We'll we'll check in. We'll just close them in ten minutes and see where we're at. I won't cancel all the rooms. I could always send you folks back with all my <coughs> Zoom powers, and I will pause the recording. Someone remind me to unpause it. Okay. Ate na a yitikade. How to build a fire. One oh one. Well, Dlait Gagi Hain Igagi Tin Igagi Tin Igagi Tin Gunashish Kaya Dlait Iti Su Gagi Ak Ye Stooge La Aki did the she. Shukwanach dleit gagi chwain i jaji tin. Kaya dleit i ti. Shoot gagi ak. Oh, shoot. So, dech huk i ti nach. Yeah, away. Shoot the arc with the arc. That's it to you, huh? Cheesh. Shukai. Gwas. Haji, yes, aya. Kakkitle dat. Yanaka. Shukai. Shukai. Gwas haji, yes, kakkitle dat. Haji yes, kak gila dal. Kak gini. Tinggal. Oh, try to do so. Wait, late. Gaggy Queen again? Ah. You judge you tin. You judge you tin, ah. Late by Blan again? Hmm. Scenario Quaski way, Gooks at Ohan. That was a cool and late card, late card land for a ya you that that you two hatan. Ah, what's late card land? Gwash Kwan Link 
Africa, um, Yukon, um, Kweshe, Kweshe, uh, Gadlan, okay, uh, uh, Gadlan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Elias ko a late kadlan yawa um scenario that sentence a kau shahit ko a Elias was had to sark the the sentence I got wait a gun e tik on a ka heat Uh, chat box a kach kach shikhit gan ite khan agar khit okay always idakh cheesh Okay. um share document how to shahit ha ade on what to say Ah. Um, I'm sorry. Again. Ah, ha in kananik you a tank shavings of that. Ha in chat box. Ah, read your um. You want to read your sentence you shared with oh, us? Oh, oh. Aga kuna she kuna na take. Kachu Kayek Tagu um, search for it Pankwood or shavings or chips Kayek Tagu Aga Kunashe Gunana Tate Kachu Kayek Tagu I do so I do Tungyoe Yata Such take again Gan had a canate on a cheese shanakate. Um, I do so a kaushakit, ya yuk a tank. Shanakawehi yadi nesu. Chop, chop, chop. Make a gun of cheese. Tin. Shanakwit, Shanakwai yadi tin. It's night soon. Okay. Gun of cheese. Eight or fifteen. Cut car. Cut foot. 
Yeah, yeah, I teach. Cause in oh, quite hard to tell that cause in yeah, what you meeting day we got caught. An kach tulsa iti nachiati. Aga oy as katach dis ikha akach na u. Kashu kawadai a. Sik ka kayat in. Okay, gunal tish. Aga awa. Jak. Gan ka kasti. Aka yena u. Yena u bas aka yena sni. Gan ka kasti. Aka yena. Aka yena sni. Ya kwa kani. Ah. Ah. I do so way out of Kaushi hit. Touch Hasako. And I cook for something. And too good. Touch fun. 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 Yeha 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 sewa ka khat ka aja an ka singit khat siti ja ukh ukh ka kan kini awe ye awe shuta ka khat ak we an ka an ka singit yek echa we kan chi shuhan tuk ke khatang we shoot at the aki a dot. What? Ah, yeah, I think. Yeah, we we can to who go a connery again. When can in slidzy co ah, was cash cook eat a yeah, we when can in ya was hasha a teenery a tea was hasha ka. Shana Hawaii, Gushana Hawaii, Yeti, Gushitahia, Kekwak A, Gushitahia, EGAT. Kashi in Kahwanik, Yakunyaki, Sakshue, Kagusa, Ayaye, Ekwati. Just after was a cook or Kakarta, Aka Yukatangi tin. Ya Kushukar to Chu Ashuk. Pushakartuja. <laughs> 
prestige away ye at was cuckoo away wooch in wooch ye ye tea ye connachoe ach to was the goo wooching ye jit to me with a yach ye that quash at the woos ye ji woo hard that's a dad away you to ye sha at ya hag ye katangi dad ach to was the goo was the goo Kalchish, ah, uh, good work. That was fun, and we're gonna try stuff like that every now and then, just for, uh, just see how we do. Try the language in different ways and instruct people. Share your knowledge. I'm real thankful that you folks did. Any thoughts about that, or any language questions in general, or things you were thinking about, or things you want to share? Also, a punk would. Well, I know Nora is to what Shandakait has a different idea. Carrie Edwards Dictionary Duck. Good enough, Tate's punk wood, decayed dried wood. I think the pitch wood is usually what I hear, like taste is a good pitch wood. But the the ways people talk about it might vary, but uh nah is what Nora used to say for punky wood. I don't know punk I guess well, good dachs away where you cut tongue punk wood. Is it cook it? Kind of like rotten, isn't it? Yeah, when you open it up it's dry rot and it's good for uh smoking um hides. Oh yeah. Okay. Sheesh. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. But if it's punky wet, it's not going to burn. So, might be good. Uh, but it's got to dry it out by your fire when you get it going. There you go. That'll be the next the next book. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. I'll do some others. It'll be fun. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Going to not teach. Uh, so. We we again key flat key kusa we hotel. You look for the dry punk wood in a uh, <clears throat> underneath, like a, a a partially rotted tree or stump. And when you find that, then you know the place will be dry for the night. That's what dad called a hotel. The last thing is uh, what was it? She say a prayer. Pray for yourself. <laughs> Pray for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and what's a um, pocket lint? Ka pocket <laughs> stuff. Pastu <laughs> pastu zihi. Okay. Zihi is some kind of lint. Ah. Or uh, some kind of not lint, but some kind of little rubbish. Ah. Now, Pashtu is uh, literally in the hip, but that's the name for it. Ah. Or if anybody brought their purse, you know, I'm sure there'd be lots. <laughs> <laughs> um, last winter, uh, the, a group of people went into the ditch uh, between Carmax and Pelly. And uh, it was minus 50. And they tried to light a fire, but they couldn't. And they weren't dressed very well. So they lit their car on fire, their vehicle. You call ye a kamshi gun. And uh, it saved their lives. I think the truck driver picked them up at six in the morning. They were, so yeah. That's what I thought of when we got this assignment. <laughs> So your sentences were light your car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> A lighter underneath the gas tank. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ja. Gadi. Dat is ja. Oké, okay. okay, Johan, oké, okay. kunnen ze cheese. And there's probably a bunch of finer stuff like uh, as de kuhu. That, like, there's got, you know, teh is what it turns into, right? That when it dries up. And so there's the wet stuff and the dry stuff and different sort of things in terms of like the specific terminologies that we're going to use for some of those. Wukecha. And then tzikha is, uh, it's really interesting. I was thinking about this stuff too. Tzikha is the moss that grows on top of a tree branch, I think. And so like if you've got a, especially a bigger tree and it's got this big puffy thing of moss on it. And Sechwani is the one that hangs down. Right, Sechwani. And then uh, Suk is the one that's on the forest floor. Kune Daka, we Yukutan Teh, Ayah Pitchwood. Yeah, oh, yeah, Pitchwood. And then uh, in the interior is called khun. And then tlingit khun or sikha was the diaper moss, and that's what they also like to have babies born on. And then sechwani uh, was kind of for making moon time equipment. So, yeah, away. And then the souk is really interesting because it's the moss and it's also tall grass in the water. So. Okay. Okay, Johan. Oh, what is gunpowder? A tugani, is that it? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, away. I'm just really cool, like. It's a like a fire piston survivor man made. It's like it's like a tube and you just twist it on, on the bottom and then you like slap real hard. And when you pull it out, it's got a little ember on the end of it. Hmm. For like an instant fire. You don't have to like <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll probably call the height on. Kesk a dean, cocks a dog, yayaki, a hasuku and naxi. Not typing very well today. I think I had four typos in a row if you go back in the chat. Um, Hosiku at Woods Gate, quat. Um, Kosane, wax, ka, um, kai, kai, tagu. Mm. Um, I know it's cheating, but uh, <clears throat> I always put chips in uh, cardboard egg cups and pour molten wax on it. Mm. And living in southeastern, I just gave up on trying to make fires without those things. Yeah, is like damp. Because, yeah, I mean, that's a big thing. Like, if you go inland, it's just a different climate, too. So, on the coast, <clears throat> it's just wet all the time. Kachish, for the tip. Yeah, I always keep bag of wood chips, like, in every bag. Or bag full of wood chips. Okay. Okay. Candle, candle stub. Oh. Yeah. I've heard if you're really in a pinch and you have potato chips, that will start a fire. <laughs> Dang, Cheetos burn blue hot. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Okay, 
Can of gas, bag of Cheetos. Got it. Books are written. Okay, there's cheese. <laughs> Look at some verbs. We might end up freezing. We'll see what happens. This is about where we left off. We're going to start with this. We're going to go through and we're going to predict it. We're going for a perfective positive. Everything we need is right here. And how am I going to start? What are the things that I need to get to put this in the perfective for all of these different conjugations right there? I'm going to look left to right. What do I need to look at first? Object who it is, right? Yep, there's an object. So we should expect ause and has ause or umse, has umse. So we got to look at that object, make sure it's there so that we know to switch it to a uh, when we get to the third person. Ose e. Si, yeah, so it's going to be si, the s i, and then because it's a zero, it's going to be long and high. Okay, so those are all the things, and then it's listed for you right up here. But just when you start looking at the themes yourself, you don't have to open it up further. You could just have a, just a big list of verb themes. You don't need any of, the, any of it conjugated for you. You're going to get there yourselves. So I think you said it, Shanaqit. I cooked it. Chosei. Yeah, oh, Chosei. You cooked it. Someone else. Yise e. Yise e. Yise e. Singular they or she or he cooked it. Se e. One more time. Se e. We gotta have the uh in it. We gotta have the <laughs> in there. Yise e. Ause. Ause e. Ause e. We cooked it. You all cooked it. They plural cooked it. It was cooked. Would do. Because something's got to happen that classify. Would do the e. Yeah, oh, would do the e. So there they are. So if we put at in front of it, which would change this, the third person, now you have cooked. So that took the object out of there. So this is to cook something. I cooked it. But if you just say I cooked, at chose e, at yese e, at wuse e, at wutuse e, at yese e, has at wuse e, at wuduse e. Could you go through that again? I, I didn't quite understand what you were telling us about. So there is, there's certain, there's quite a few verbs where you can take the object out just to, and there's usually <clears throat> ways that the object can get locked up. So that we're just talking about like cooking instead of cooking a thing. So sometimes it'll force the verb to go plus D, like would, you could say, khwatu, I read it, did to I read. But there are others where you can put at in front of it. And that changes it. So that's that's another way. So it's like two main ways to just sort of either knock out or lock up the object. It kind of depends on the verb. But in this one, if you put at and change the object from this zero marker or this a uh, to at, that just means it literally means cooked something. 
or cooked a thing. But that's how you say, I cooked, you cooked. So then it would be, at chosei, at yisei, at wusei, because now that has changed from a uh to at. At watusei, at yisei, has at wusei, and at watusei. So that how just come it's not sorry how come it's not at hus the hus has got to go outside the object so it's similar to say like if you said um they love me you'd say hus hut sechan so the hus goes it's outside of the of the object pronouns it's not an object pronoun it's a pluralizer and it sits on the outside. Oh, so same, yeah. Even when I when I first read it, I, I had to pause and put it in the right order in my brain. So in the chat, um, atusi, okay, is uh, that right? Atusi. Well, yeah, atusi. Yeah, they cooked. Atusi. Atusi. Gnostish. I don't understand why if we add the ut, which is it or something, right? Yeah. Um, there's, just a few, it, there's a few verbs where if you put ut, it like becomes a different verb. Like same with eating, right? So if I'm telling someone to eat it, like I'm sitting there with my kid and, uh, they, and the kid is not eating the food. I would uh, say, huh. Like eat it. Uh -huh. But if the kid comes like, ah, I'm hungry, eat something. So it just becomes okay. something. And so if I said, I ate it, there's a thing there. But uh -huh. if someone's just saying, it's um, like, no, I ate something. So that's how you say, I ate. So that we but you have to object when we're just focusing on the action. But you have to say the ut. It seems weird that you have to say ut, which to me is the object, in order to create a verb that doesn't have an object. There, there's only a few of them that do it. Cooking, okay. cooking, eating, and drinking. Hmm. I guess studying and teaching, they do that as well. Well, I'll I'll get it at, in time. <laughs> Gonna yeah. You gotta eat. Ah. I remember it like this. It's ah. opposite of what you think it would be. <laughs> I think we have similar minds. That does help. <laughs> well, clarifying question, in order for the verbs to appear the way we see them on the screen, does that have to actually be the thing you cooked before that word in the sentence? Like, chat, chosei. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't have to be okay you don't have to have the object there yeah oh. so the, the only thing the the word order there would be sort of like what's the more important information that i cooked chalk or that i cooked right and it, it just depends maybe like i need everybody to know that i cook this <laughs> Wait, i chalk. wanted all the credit right <laughs> Don't you forget it. Or you can say chat chosei. Now now the halibut is more important. Okay. But what I cooked is more important. Chosei we chat. The fact that I cooked is more important. Okay. If you want to add the chat information, you say chat chosei, not chat at chosei. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Okay. There's <laughs> other, right? Yeah, at chosei would just mean I cooked. Okay, and so so once all right. So if we want to if we want to actually name the thing that the object, we use chosei, and but we don't have to have the object in that sentence. Right, you don't have to. Yeah, you could just say chosei. I cooked it. Okay. And then whether we named it or not would depend. Like if we're sitting around and we're eating the thing, then we probably know what the thing is. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> but you you said 
you can also say it Hwasa I We Chat. Yeah. Either one. Or or Chat Hwasa I. Ah. But not We Chat Hwasa I. Oh, that's fine too. So either before or after doesn't matter as long as you don't have at. Right. Yeah. right. Ah. And whatever thing comes first is the most important thing you're conveying. Good questions. Good enough, Chief. Ah. Okay. So now we're gonna. Now I'm not. Now I didn't cook it. I took the credit, but I just lied. Now the truth comes out. <laughs> this one, though, the sa is gonna get. The a is gonna get knocked out of that sa. Probably. Maybe almost every time. We'll see. I think we should only expect it for the third person and the fourth person. So what expect we get, what? So we get clash now. Ah. We're also going to get the irrealis and the perfective, which just means a little bit less likely to contract. We're going to get su, and here's the kicker: if there's no subject. There's nothing marked there in between that marker and sa. It's going to knock the letter A out of there. But we should only expect it for the third person. The fourth person is a little different because it's actually plus D, which means there's no A anyways. So for both the third person, third person plural, we should expect just the letter S. No vowel in the classifier because it gets knocked out. But there should be sa, so it should go sa, sa, s, sa, sa, s, s. That's the classifier all the way down. Sorry, and then there it is. So, an open negative should, and a zero. Short hop. Kesh Jose I didn't cook. You didn't cook. Like I did more that Y with the dots over it was just a W because it goes to W, right? It's always a W except for the second person. In this case. Kesh yisa e. Now we're going to get the A knocked out of there. They or she or he didn't cook. Yes, I was it. Yes, That's the shape it takes because that there's no subject marker. So when the perfective marker touches sa, the letter A just runs away, takes off. That's what causes that contraction. Kesh awus kuf. Kesh awus in. It's gonna be kesh awus. And it would be awush and it would be awush. That's just how it's gotta go. There's nothing there to stop that perfective marker from deleting that A. Is is the perfective marker the W and the irrealis is the U? Well, they just come, they combine. So whenever you look at them, they just sort of, they merge into one. They, it doesn't look different from the perfective that much. The, the biggest difference is that the classifier is not plus I. So if the classifier is minus I, then the su, that's the big difference. Hmm. We didn't cook. The 
Effective markers should come first, w, and the subject marker, t. The classifier, sa, and the root, i. Keshwa to sa i. We didn't cook. Y'all didn't cook. Clash yisa e. Clash yisa e. So for this sec, the second person plural perfective, it's going to be ye all the time, and the rest is just like, what's the classifier going to be? Uh -huh. that, one, that one's. It doesn't change too dramatically. Uh huh. But a lot of these, I think the third person is the one that goes through the most change. They all didn't cook. Cash has ours, eh? Yeah, what? Cash has ours, eh? It wasn't cooked. Cash would this eh? Yeah, oh, uh, cash would this eh? So in this case, you got wo, just like usually whatever the second person plural, first or the second, the first person plural is going to be very similar. You're going to change the T to a D, but in this case, the classifier is the big thing that changes because. A fourth person that's not a zero classifier must be a <clears throat> And the minus I form is just the letter S. So here so, you got the vowel knocked out, vowel knocked out, but there's no vowel here because it's a different, it's a plus D classifier. So I like that up the upper right hand thing that gives us the sort of the gloss, right? for it because it helps us know which way the stem goes and stuff like that but i i know i've asked this question before of several different groups what is that ooh after the object that's the irreals that's oh god so because clash is there uh -huh. it always brings irrealis to the party okay it's a plus one it's always i've always got my plus one <laughs> But we don't see it um, except in the, like, uh, I mean, like, hua is um, got the ha and the yu sound, right? Or the wa, that's the hua. And so where's the u? Uh? Is it mushed in? It just, it absorbs into the perfect okay. Urialis. They're like, they just smush yeah. together. Okay. Okay. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll keep doing a few more. I think we'll switch to Kahwan Ish now, though. Unless you folks have any other questions. We'll jump back into this on Wednesday. We're tying. So we'll throw a we'll throw a thematic prefix in there. But for now, we'll go back to some bigger language, bigger chunks. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, let me make sure my sound is for that. Okay, can everybody hear this okay? A credit card is a season, Nicholas. Okay, so I think we're on to this one. A yes, I want to show the connect. A 
ايسوت لاشو دي قلنا الكسر خكنانيك ايسوت لاشو دي قلنا الكسر or if they would move to the camp Sak sa kask kaat. Sak sa kask kaat. Sak sa kask kaat. Sak sa kask kaat. Ah, um, black sea would arch. Sak sa kask kaat. That's what I think it's. Sak sa kask kaat. I don't know about that first one though. Sak sa kask kaat. Huh? Oh, it said it sounds like it sounds like a clutch. For that last one, yeah. Suck the cusk out. Is is he saying barnacles or starfish? Suck. Suck would be starfish, but we don't eat it. Oh, I seen they do over in Asia. Ah. <laughs> uh. Is it three kinds of seaweed? It could be a third kind of seaweed. This is one I, I listened to a bunch. I went back and forth on what it might be. It sure sounds like a, a pinched S. Suck. Suck. But if it's not, and it's suck, I, I think that's what it is. But we can debate it if you want. That second, that suck, sounds like a G, doesn't it? Suck. Just, the L is really hard to hear. I think it's Kask. 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 That first one, though, I don't know. Forty percent certain. There's always gonna be stuff on these recordings where you're gonna come back like I don't know about that one. Again, you can mark it, do the double question mark thing, go back, listen to it, headphones, come back a year later. Odds are you'll probably publish something, and you'll listen to it and you'll be like, How could I not hear that's what I was? Das Hydrushwit us. Hydrushwit us. 
And then there's that other verb. I think this is the same one we looked at last time. Uh, it's the same thing except the last word. Uh. So the ends of something. Say it again. It's the same thing except the last word. Mm -hmm. Well, I still think it's that. Uh... I guess I'd have it like that. But it seems like they, they've got it in their hands and it's just hanging over the, it's hanging off of the edge of their hands is what it sounds like to me. Or a con, the script Or a con, the script They always try to do me. The script Or a con, the script The two shade, the scrupulous. The two shade, the scrupulous. The scrupulous. The two shade, the scrupulous. You always try something else. <laughs> What's that? There was dried cockles. Yeah, so a cockle. Anyone had it? <laughs> Has anybody had dried cockles? I don't. I haven't. I haven't either. I would love to have the time you got. Yeah, Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that could be a we we caught, or it could just be we we caught. And I'll put the new, I'll put the version, this version up when we're done on our class page so you folks can see it. Our day. Our deh. Our deh. So sometimes when you do something like this, you might look ahead to the next thing. Family, so what should we do? Family, so what should we do with the God's way? There were two families.
What does shoe day mean? That's a really good question. So a sh is the end of it, right? And so we see it pop up in a whole bunch of stuff, like uh, shoot a da'ak, the whole thing we did on fire, like, so sh and shoot, so shoot is to arrive at the end of it, shude is to go towards the end of it. It gets a little tricky here because yan shuka is the name for camp, it's one name for a camp, and yan shuka is like the end on the end of the land, kind of, but some some of them are really hard to analyze. And then, when if if I hear him say a shoot de wushagas, I would just translate that they went to a camp, and I, I would usually think it's some kind of camp for working on food. And different speakers would have different names for these things. Cyril would call it a on ani. But that's like a fish camp, at khan ani. Uh, and that's the same one for at khan hiti. But there's other communities that don't use at khan hiti. They call it tsek hit. Uh, and so it's a little different. Khan is a verb root for smoking fish. So hook is often associated with preparing some sort of meat on with a fish, but it doesn't always work that way. So a shoot day would literally mean towards the end of it. Where it gets even a little more interesting, there's this line in the Raven stories where he says, ach shoot day, ach shoot day. And uh, elders were translating that as come and get me. But I would say a shoot day in this case is camp. So when Raven says ach shoot day, is it spelled without an accent? And does it mean, um, does it mean it or there or what? Ach, I think it's so, ach shoot day. I probably said it wrong. So ach shoot day would be toward, go towards the end of me. Or just towards the end of me. Uh, so ach, ach is like a x underline. Yeah, like ach da, or ach jin, ach ta, that same one. Ach shu de. You know, Kane, uh, how I've been thinking about that too is um, that uashu for something to extend, eh? Or uh, so it. it it might not need to be the end of something, but it could be like an area or um, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm trying to think of the sheet uh, would uh, um, uh, People are sitting across from each other or in the same space uh, type of thing. Eh? So it might be the end, but it, it Kind of is less and less just the end to me. Yeah, I, I think sure. There's a set of words in Tlingit where it's like, this word really means something. And it's not just one, like there's a whole, that's, it's one of these terms that like, there's no single word that can translate it. Like uh, gay would be another one, a gate or a gay day. Like it could mean against it. Like if you just said a gay day, it usually means like a violation. But if he said, they went to meet each other. Or a gate, a, a gate shuk, a gate It's leaning up against it. So it in, in some areas, like it, it's weird how the, the definitions and then the way that the word works shifts a lot. If you put shu in front of a verb, it often, it depends on how the verb, if you said shuwahih, it ran out, you know, or like somebody, it died off. Shuwahih, they killed them off. 
So it, it could work like that as well. But then there's other cases where there's sh in a verb and it has nothing to do with reaching the end of something. Hey shunatan. But I guess because you're going to pull the edge of it, you're going to pull the, because it could mean just the edge of something as well. Whole bunch. Two families went to camp. <laughs> Devil fish pay it or a sock, yeah. So a couple things for our last uh, note here. One is speakers do tend to switch ye and you. Devil uh, I would expect you right there as opposed to ye. Uh, just sort of thinking if it goes name then it goes you do a sock but if the name moves over somewhere then it switches to ye do a sock but that's one that doesn't happen all the time but the other thing is like when the ye pops up here so the ye is the place where the verb happened and here's the little bit of the thing that we've been sort of trying to work out when does it get this attributive suffix? So the attributive suffix follows all the same rules as the relational suffix or the possessive one, except it's always low tone. And it seems like there's, it pops up when there's a vowel in the classifier. Otherwise, you don't necessarily need it, but I clearly hear speakers use it on a regular basis even if there isn't a vowel in the classifier. So what does that mean? So that would mean if you had um, do wa, so we hear that wa in there. That is the ya, that's the plus i classifier. Do wa sak, so you can hear it in there. But if you had uh, the place where people eat, you might call it a du ha ya doesn't need a suffix. The place where people ate, a du wa ha ye. The vowel in the classifier triggers that suffix to pop up. This is when you use ye. And same with when you use a de verbi ye. What's the difference between What's the difference and what do the two things mean, ye and ye? Uh, ye and ye are the same. Like this is why I think you could say it's short or long. It's, it's usually should be, I think it should be short usually. Maybe I'm saying it long. And they, meet, they both mean place? This one, if it comes right after the verb, then it means place. And if it comes before? Uh, then it's ye. And it's thus. So you could also say it, you do a saguye. Uh, yeah, if you had then you could say devil fish bay, you do, do a saguye. But you would say, ye do a saguye, devil fish bay. If you moved it past the verb, the name, it should switch to ye. Say that again, that last part. You, you said if it didn't have devil fish bay, you could say you do a sagrie. But since it has devil fish bay, you say devil fish bay, ye do a sagrie. Other way around. Like I would expect this to be you. Because the name comes like khane, you you khat do a sak. Achaway, ye khat do a sak khane. If you remove the name from right before the verb, then it should switch to yay. 
Otherwise, it should be you. Uh, you know, uh, Renee, um, Jimmy and Susie, it's uh, Jimmy Yekatuasa, and they're old time speakers, eh? So it could be preference, I, I don't know, but you know, I listen to those videos just about every day, eh? And it's, it's always Yekatuasa. Yeah, which is one, I think, yeah. with Duasak, I think it's like, whatever. <laughs> Whichever way. Whichever way you yeah, say they're it. all southern speakers. I don't know. Is I, it different further north? Because like Pachakti, Ka, uh, Kahuanish, they're all from the south. Yeah, Kihkwan, Utsnuwu. This, this, this could be a, a rule that has sort of gotten a little slippery. Just if you go, if you jump back a hundred years, you'd probably find people being pretty steadfast with it, maybe. But if people are wondering why it's switching, that, that's usually why. And then just for one more, I know the clock already struck seven, but yeah is the place or the way. It could be either one. So you could say to cut ye, and that could be any place and that could be any way. Which is wild, because you could say to cut ye they were good. They went all over the place. But you could say, It's colored all kinds of colors. What if, what if it's one of those words like, there, 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 and there. Like it all means the same. <laughs> kind of means the same thing. They're over there with their things. Yeah, good cheese, you han. Uh, we'll pick it up here. Our goal is to get to, uh, let's see, how far do we got to go? Okay, 24 more minutes left. No problem. Benachish, keep working on this. We'll keep grinding through some uh, conjugations. We know how to make a, we know how to build a fire now. We'll get to the next task, uh, the next time. Benachish. Let's 